Welcome one and all, my name is Tavis and today we are painting a Warhammer. I know, old mech. What goes best with old mech? Old paint. Or at least an old paint job. We are going for the Star League Defense Force and or uh, Riviani Light Horse, depending on what you like. Basically it's whatever you like it to be. Anything from that era. Military Drab. Green. Classic. I picked this because we're going to show you a good way to get some interest into a fairly plain color. Without too much work actually. So first off, a layer of a dark green, or a drab. And it doesn't really matter how dark because we're going to do this, which is a solid wash over it. And this case is a bit of um, alchemy in the in as that put a drop or two of contrast paint or speed paint into non oil but whatever wash you have would work for this uh, I just wanted to punch it up a bit more and adding a bit of uh, speed paint to it actually makes it slightly darker and does the whole pull away from um, edges better but you still have a lot of problems with pooling so you have to deal with that make sure you don't get too many places where it pools up too deeply because you just want the solid finish on this. As you can see we have a fairly solid matte finish on this now with deep gorgeous shadows. So now go in with the same paint as we painted before and paint over everything again. Thin it down 2 to 1 or 1 to 1. You want this to be flowy but not so flowy that it starts separating. And um, this stage, if you thin your paint properly, you don't need to be all of that precise. You can be a bit sloppy on this one, because this is basically just another base layer onto which we're going to work our way up to some sort of specularity, I think the word is. Anyway, we're going to try and make it look good by increasing the brightness and the tone. And uh, I put on about three layers, two or three layers of this, and then I went in with a mix of this dark green with some slightly brighter green. Now, you can use whatever you want. I used a combo of Crypt Wraith and uh, Commando Green from Army Painters and Warpaints Line. And um, again, Give it about two or three layers of this. We have plenty of layers in this case, we don't want to overdo it. And uh, if you put on two layers, you can actually add a bit more of the bright green into it to for the last layer to just blend things together a bit nicely. And um, for this layer, you need to be a bit more careful, be a bit more precise with your paintbrush, as you can see here, just trying to hit the raised areas, not Take away from the shadows. And then we wrap this up with a more, more pure, what I was looking for. See, English again, escaping me. A pure commando green to add some more highlights. And uh, the idea here is to get it look creamy, I think it's the best way to describe it because while it looks rather sketchy up close from about a meter away it looks really good you could also go for a crisp look instead and then you would I would suggest you strip away one of these highlight stages and just start focusing on the solid colors but I like this sort of soft creamy look instead so I that's what I do and um, again, the first two layers have to be very precise. The last layer can be a bit less precise and more dry brushy. Also, make sure they dry properly between. Now, speaking of dry brushes, as you can see here, we are now putting on a mix of uh, Witch Brew and uh, Commando Green. And this is the final highlight stage. And um, 
This is really punchy, so be really careful. Precise and deliberate paint paintbrushing. Otherwise, that will happen. So, poorly mixed paint. I go back in and we hit it again. This is a really bright layer, but it will mute as it dries. It looks very bright, almost toxic at this point, but it will mute a lot when you dry. So don't be afraid. If you go too mute, you will actually have to put another layer anyway. So don't be afraid of colors. And um, as you can see here, and you speak, do, try to do just one or two strokes per part. That makes sure, sorry, off camera, make sure that we don't overload the area with paint. And as a brush get a bit drier, I switch over to an area that needs more dry brushing technique and brush out the last of the brush. So, Switching back and forth between techniques is actually a good way to maximize your brush worth, basically. Now, this camel spec works for any everything. Uh, this is basic, it's a historic defense force and they went with the basic general infantry look to their mechs. And uh, the trick is to make it to make it interesting because you could technically just paint one color, dunk it, and call it done. But I, I, I don't think that's fun. So as I said, make sure to punch the, the color up because it will mute a bit when it dries. Now, with the metallics done, we hit the metallics with some uh, pure null oil or a part of black wash to bring out the details without having to do a lot of work. Now, here it's something I did that was bad. I put on too much wash and had to try and rescue the front there a lot because it was too dark. But yeah, that's it. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do, do play fair. Bye.